as much as I was a Stevie G fan, I think Jordan's been our best captain since uh, probably since all the way back to Hanson in those days for what, you know, league title, Champions League, everything he's done. A player who came in who was kind of uh, vilified, criticised, was on his way to Fulham potentially. How he turned it around, what a phenomenal career. And I know everyone wants to have a dig in him. I know it's written everywhere. It's on Sky. It's in various publications. It's life-changing. People can go on about, yeah, but he's on 200 grand a week. Yeah, after tax, he's probably on 90. This for his family just changes everything for generations. So the things he does, and I'm sure he'll give a big chunk to charity, I think Jordan Henderson has been brilliant for football. He's been brilliant for Liverpool. And I don't think it hurts his legacy at all. I think people are overreacting. I think there's a bit of jealousy in there. And I think at his age of 33, it's good for him. And it's good business for Liverpool. They're only getting all their feedback and they can reinvest. Because let's face it, he probably only paid 15 times next year in the Premier League. I'm excited about what we can do with that midfield with him and with Fabinho leaving. So obviously McAllister has come in. I love him. Saboslai as well. Well, talent. I think, you know, we get a boy from Southampton. Um, we, Lavia. Lavia. Do you think that will happen? Say. Because what we've seen from Southampton, mm. this transfer window, we saw it again with Tino Livramento over the weekend. Some... Uh, North East Journals we're getting mm-hmm. a little bit excited 30 million deal agreed oh, he's a player I'd love to buy and move Trent into midfield yeah that right back but they, want, a they want 50 is, million I'm told Southampton for Livermento after the ACL he's not worth that at the moment and particularly now they're in the champ and Rasmus and Kinley for saying that but obviously people are trying to take some of their players for a lot less than they're worth but I do Lavia do I think he's worth 50 million no he's young he's had a good first year but do I think he's worth 35 with add-ons pushing it to 50 million all day long the other alternative is Next year, Man City have the option to buy him back. Mm. So I think Southampton will make more now than in year three if I read that whole deal and buyback clause and everything else. So I just think if Liverpool get him and one more in there, we have a very exciting reboot. You're, you're united and your one good year last year would, would be coming for that title again. Not next year, year after. I, but I, definitely also, I also feel Curtis Jones is, is someone Love who's really coming Love along. Curtis. Had a great Euros, fantastic Euros Love Curtis. tournament. Keep him fit. Yeah, there's a terrific Harvey talent Elliott in there. as well. Another fantastic more on Curtis talent. and Harvey for me. Yeah. And, I, and I like the kid. I keep cutting his name, but Be- 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 I'm terrible at pronouncing names. Who got injured? Yeah, six. I know what you mean. I love him. That kid has a big future. Yeah. We, we've an exciting again under Klopp. I'm very excited about what's to come. You know, one thing I'm really happy to actually find out that uh, there's somebody who can come out on live radio, television. And I shall admit this because we have always said it as Liverpool fans. I've always said it that in terms of success and in terms of really leadership, is Henderson is the best leader that Liverpool has had. Stevie G, people, I know we have this sentimental connection with him, with what he has done for the club, sacrificing his entire life for a club that wasn't winning anything, but he was worthy of winning at least a Premier League trophy. We know we, we love him for that, but in terms of the best leader in that dressing room, we need to admit that Henderson has been the best leader in Liverpool history. The reason why I'm saying that is because not he has already succeeded. He has already managed to succeed with what he has. The trophies, he has won it all, he has completed football. But let me tell you something that people don't really t- t- pay attention in terms of the leadership of Henderson. Yes. So Gareth Southgate took the unbent from from Henderson to Harry Kane. Everything we get it. He is the best Clive. He is the best uh, like striker in the world. He is the poster boy for England. Everyone is excited. But have you ever noticed something? Whether he is playing or not, there is always a position or there is always a place for Henderson in that British squad in that England squad, wherever they go. They don't care what is going to happen. They always want Henderson in them because he knows how to put these small egos of these small talents that we're seeing in the, in, in the English Premier League or in the English squad down. He knows how to speak to them and they listen to him. Whenever he gets into the ground, you can hear him shouting, controlling, telling the boys what to do because he is that type of a captain. He is that guy who's very good at what does so thinking that it's gonna hurt his career that is going to Saudi saying whatever you want to say it's not really gonna work he has already done it he's 35 years old and they let him go make the money he deserves that I feel like he deserves people are gonna say already was making so much money like he was saying but there are taxes in England he's going to Saudi to make 350k a week with no taxes involved Allow him to go do that. Allow him. That's very good for his family. The other thing that he said that 
they talked about uh, how this going is going to hurt his character. I heard the, the other communities that are coming about, like the LGBTQ community coming, saying that he promised that he's going to fight for our rights. Now he's going to the league that is surprising the rights of the gays and the lesbian people. But I'm saying, let him, let him, maybe he wants to go fight for those rights there in the third league. We don't know his intentions of going there, if there's other intentions rather than footballing reasons. But they, we understand why he's going there. We understand that he has a chance to, he has an opportunity to make it, to make his family rich. We understand that he is never gonna change the the personality of who he is. He will always be the same player. That's why I keep repeating this. Also. Liverpool's rebuild, McAllister, Sobo, and maybe Lavia. It's amazing. And I really love what was said in this video when they were talking about how the champion, how so many teams now are trying to get a lot for the players than the, what they are worth. And I heard they're talking about the right back of Southampton. And I'm hoping that at least Liverpool get him as well because I think it's high time we see Trent Alexander and all the midfield. And we've already seen it in preseason. It's already in the club's best interest to make Trent Alexander Arnold the midfielder. He's been playing him in midfield the entire time. He hasn't played elsewhere. It looks like Klopp is now comfortable in allowing Trent Alexander Arnold to become a midfielder because now he can say that he needs it. He has, he has been humbled. So I'm, I'm excited over that perspective in terms of how it's looking like. Carlos Jones. Remember Stevie G talked about this when he was doing an interview. I think it was it Redman TV or something. He said he told Klopp before he left Liverpool that whatever you do, don't make Curtis Jones go on loan. Because as much as you do whatever you do, if you trust him, if you give him the confidence, he will repay you. And I'm telling you, it's now the time, and we are already seeing it, that Curtis Jones is gonna give Liverpool more and he's gonna even do more than what Javi Elliott is already doing and everyone is excited with what Javi Elliott has been doing also Steven Pazicic I know he's been sort of struggling to say Pazicic that kid I know it's still messed up at the moment is how the preseason is going everyone is confused Liverpool are gonna be exciting come next season and it's all because of the players that we have Anyway, I want to know your thoughts in the comment section. I can finish the whole entire video just talking about Liverpool because it's my club. I'm always excited when it comes to talk about Liverpool. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Are you excited about our rebuild? Where do you see us going? Are we going to try to challenge come next season? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Do me a favor. Click the like button and subscribe to the account. I'm out. Peace.